In this video, we'll cover the basic interface of the SPSS data editor and illustrate entering data into SPSS. Most basic tasks in SPSS involve two windows, the data editor and the output window. The data editor can be toggled to show a spreadsheet-like display of the data themselves or a list of the variables with details for each. The data view is essentially a basic row-by-column spreadsheet, and in most applications, the rows represent individual participants or records of data, and the columns represent each of those participants' measurements or a variable for each participant. So participant 1, participant 2, participant 3, variable 1, variable 2, variable 3, uh, etc. In contrast, the variable view presents a list of the variables themselves with the information about each of them that you've customized and options for changing that information or customizing it further. Let's enter some fake data to demonstrate the two views. Let's imagine we've given a clinic presentation at a State Music Educator Association conference and that we'd administered an exit survey to get feedback from the participants in our session. So our task now is to enter the data that we got from our surveys into SPSS for analysis. Well, one thing we'd want is the ability to keep track of our data, so it would be helpful to have a variable that simply indicates some kind of code for our respondents. So let's imagine that we have uh, 10 respondents to our survey. A simple way to code these participants is with the numbers 1 through 10. And let's enter some data into the data view and customize the description of the variable in the variable view. So person 1 we would code as 1, and person 2 we code as 2, etc. All the way down to person 10. And now if we toggle over to the variable view, we can give that variable a name. We might call it participant code. And we would let SPSS know that, yes, it is indeed a numeric variable. That, um, these are ways to customize the appearance of the variable in the data view itself. Now we can also give it a more detailed label. So if we were to produce results with SPSS, our results would be labeled uh, according to what we say here. So participant code could go there. Uh, if we had, if we wanted particular values to represent something, we could add uh, meaning here through the value column. If we have a particular code that indicates that the participant didn't answer a particular item on the survey, we could answer, put that in into the missing. Uh, uh, column here. This again has to do with appearance, uh, the appearance of the data in the data view, um, the level of measurement, and in this case our measurement level is nominal because each number simply represents a different person. There's no quantitative difference between 1 and 2 or 2 and 3, it's just person 1, person 2, and person 3. So let's now imagine that we also have information about the participant's age. Uh, whether they teach in primarily elementary and secondary school settings, and how helpful they felt the professional development experience of our clinic was for them on a scale of, uh, let's say, one not at all to seven completely. And let's enter some data for those variables and customize their descriptions too. So let's uh, decide that this is going to be the age variable, and let's pick a, a pretty middle of the road, I guess, sort of age range. We have a 35 year old, and a 38 year old, and a newer teacher, a 24 year old. 48-year-old, 50-year-old, nearing retirement perhaps a 60-year-old, a very new teacher, another couple middle-of-the-road folks, let's say here. I'm just picking numbers out of thin air. So those are, uh, there's a list of ages for us. And now we can code um, whether somebody is a primarily an elementary or secondary school position, uh, teaching in, in one of those positions, with, with codes of, say, 0 and 1, where 0 represents elementary school teachers and 1 represents secondary school teachers. All right, so we have going down here an elementary, an elementary, an elementary, a secondary, a secondary, a secondary, etc. And now we have the last variable, which we said was a rating of how helpful they felt the clinic was, rated from one to seven. And let's say most people felt it was kind of on average, with a couple of folks that really liked it, and maybe you know a few folks that didn't like it very much. And so now we have our data in the data view, but we can do something to customize our variables in the variable view to make this a little bit easier to work with and a little bit easier to keep track of. So let's toggle back over to the variable view. And so let's simply call this age, and we can label it as me, participant age. 
And again, it's a numeric variable. You can leave, there's no missing values, so we don't have to worry about coding that. Uh, and age, we can say, is a scalar value variable in SPSS terms. And a scalar variable basically means it's uh, a, a continuous variable of some kind, or interval or ratio level variable. And now we can put in, um, let's say, our, a elementary or secondary level, and let's call it uh, primary teaching position, elementary or secondary. And now here's a case where we have codes of zero standing for elementary positions and one standing for secondary positions. So we can add that here. We can say, well, all of those that have a value of zero are primarily elementary teachers and add that. And all of those that have a value of one are primarily secondary teachers and add that and click OK. And then lastly, we have how helpful the folks thought the clinic was. Uh, and this is, of course, a nominal variable, by the way. And then this would also, this would be a, an ordinal variable on a scale of one to seven. And if we wanted to, if we wanted to say, you know, we could say that, well, one is, uh, you know, they're not, they found it not at all helpful and two somewhat helpful or something along those lines, but we don't need to do that in this case. So now we have basically entered data that we can now use for further analysis. So if we toggle over the data view, see that our uh, variable codes have appeared here with the little icons representing to levels of measurement for each of those. And if you float over them, you get some more information. And if you click over to the variable view, again, you have uh, some more specifics about the kinds of uh, data we have and more options for customizing the data. And that's basically um, the, the general approach for uh, entering data into SPSS and what the data view and variable view in the data editor window is all about. All right, thanks very much.